This is Iron Horse Vineyards and Winery, and we're in an area that's known as the Green Valley Wine Growing Region of Western Sonoma County. Iron Horse is a family-owned winery famous for its sparkling wine. But right now, Iron Horse is in the middle of a major vineyard replanting project. It's a serious investment of time and money. So why are they doing it? Behind the label, a look at how technology is changing and improving the art of grape growing. We are in the midst of a massive, massive replanting project. Looking out over the vineyards where some people might see bare earth, we see the future. We're about halfway through replanting 50 or so acres of vineyard. It is a huge undertaking. A huge undertaking indeed. My name is Joy Sterling from Iron Horse Vineyards. My family has been here for 30 years. There was already an existing vineyard that had been planted in 1970 and 71, the original 110 acres of Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. Even this original vineyard is not immune. It's also part of the replanting project. Is this your first time here? It is. And this is a fabulous 93-point brut. We're best known for our sparkling wines, and our rising star is our Pinot Noir. Green Valley is the heart of Pinot Noir country today. You might wonder why any winery would replant on such a large scale. The only thing that's proprietary to us are our grapes. All of the winemaking technique in the world is universal. So the only thing that we have that we can claim as our own are the grapes and whatever unique flavors we can pull out of the ground. And that's what precision farming is about. That's right. Precision farming. Precision farming has to do with exactitude. Honing in on smaller, more tightly delineated areas of the vineyard, practically working vine by vine to bring out the best that we can. Precision farming brings into play all the high-tech toys you can imagine. GIS, GPS mapping, infrared, satellite photography, laser technology, all kinds of fun toys. At Iron Horse, we're a state bottle. It means that we can control all sorts of things. Lawrence Sterling is the Iron Horse operations manager. There's a moment in time in which the vines just say, we quit. The prime of a vine's life is somewhere between 35 and 40 years. Instead of replanting the way it's always been done, precision farming provides a better road map. We've got the GPS to help tell us where we are. Here's where the toys come in. Mapping specialist Mike Bobbitt shows me how GPS plays a role. I have an antenna, a GPS antenna inside, inside my hat. Um, that goes back to the GPS unit that's in, in the backpack that I'm wearing, and then that's feeding the information to the PDA, showing me where I am. GPS marks the spot for a soil pit. We dig a pit while the vines are still there so that we can actually see where the roots are, and then we can see how they're developing. We'll also take samples for chemical analysis. Soil scientist Paul Anamosa and I dig into the pit, looking at grapevine root distribution. You can see all these quirky um, bins in the root as it's trying to make it through this. You can't get through the rock. Right, you can't get through the rocks. We measure. How far the roots go down. Yeah. And it, you said about 23 inches to, of roots. Is that shallow? Is that a good thing, a bad thing? Um, it's not necessarily good or bad. It's just knowing where it is so that you can learn to manage it. Paul gathers soil samples, too. All the data collected is crunched and analyzed for the ultimate goal, vines that grow uniformly and grapes that ripen evenly. And that makes the difference for winemaker David Monksgaard. Every vine in unison so that when we pick it, you don't end up with green grapes or immature grapes and you don't end up with overripe grapes. You get exactly what the winemaker wants. It is infinitely more expensive. Yet Joy says it's worth the time, effort, and financial commitment. Our whole future is predicated on continuing to evolve. A future more precise from grape to glass with precision farming at Iron Horse Vineyards.